Yo, create a player here, back with another UFC 3 video. Today, I'm bringing you a simulated fight between two ancient human species that I recently created in the game, Homo habilis and Homo erectus. These dudes likely faced off for real two million years ago, and they're set to match up again today, inside the octagon. Heading into the fight, Habilis has the grappling and stamina advantage, while Erectus is the better striker and has slightly stronger health stats. Size may also play a factor, as Habilis is just 5'2", weighing 125 pounds, whereas Erectus, more closely related to modern humans, stands at 5'9", weighing in at 135 pounds. Will that matter with their primitive skill sets? We'll soon find out. Now why are these guys fighting, you might ask? Well, perhaps the organized hunter Erectus took down one of these guys, and Habilis tried to steal his kill. Or, more likely, it's a testosterone-fueled blind rage towards one another as they compete for the hand of this fair maiden. Yeah, that's more likely, I think. Regardless, the crowd is here, the bout is signed, and the walkouts are already underway. So sit down and grab your popcorn. Class. Collegiate credentials to prove it, and you gotta think he figures to lean on that wrestling in this matchup tonight. Not just good at getting guys down, Joe, but controlling them once they are there. Scary proposition for really any non grappler on this UFC roster. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are now 30 years old, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, running out of Beijing, China, El Terrible. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, Fighting out of Abuja, Nigeria, the Warrior! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm ready? very excited. All right, we are underway here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And he eats a right hand there. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh, powerful right leg kick. 
Oh, he scored with that uppercut. They're going after it quick here. He lands the head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He gets the inside leg kick to land there. And there he swung with the haymaker. Now a level change. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. He moves into half guard. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's in full mount here and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up, then he wants to scoot his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his opponent's face, then sit back, break the grip. It's stunning, and stunning, and he really made it look easy. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt so that was, was kind of unexpected. I was really hoping to see this fight drag out just to see how the skills of these two fighters played out, whether the size and reach of Erectus would be able to touch Habilis enough over the course of the fight to wear him down or whether Habilis would be able to use his stamina advantage and just wear out so Erectus over the course of the fight. The but I guess that wasn't to be today. As big a as he could have made All it took was for somebody to Ladies teach Homo Habilis the armbar and Homo Erectus had no idea how to defend it and had to give up as soon as he started feeling the pain. So there he is, the little underdog comes in and knocks off Homo Erectus. Without a doubt, there will be a rematch. So stay tuned for that. Erectus will no doubt be demanding one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment below with any fighters you'd like to see me create, any fights you'd like to see me put on. No doubt this one's going down again. And as always, stay tuned right here for more UFC 3 Madness.